This is a patient who came in with uh, abdominal pain, got a CT scan, and we can see on the scout radiograph there's some abnormal lucencies uh, surrounding loops of large bowel here at the hepatic flexure here in the descending colon, and uh, that in itself is uh, concerning for bowel pneumatosis. Let's look at the CT scan that was done subsequently. Those findings of bowel pneumatosis are confirmed. We can see these abnormal lucencies on soft tissue windows. Let me put this on lung windows so you can see a little bit better. Abnormal lucencies within the wall of the bowel, and it's quite extensive. Look at that over here within the transverse colon, going all the way down um, the descending colon, and so really covering a, a large part of the colon. And so there are a number of causes of uh, intramural gas, um, including uh, some ones you really need to worry about, including ischemia. If we look at the vessels in this instance, uh, all the vessels seem to be patent, and there's not a lot of bowel inflammation surrounding these loops. No thickened loops of bowel, no interloop edema, no, not a big uh, amount of ascites. And so those findings and uh, favor that uh, this is probably a benign cause of pneumatosis, of which there are several ideologies, uh, including uh, pulmonary disease, some systemic diseases, including lupus, certain medications such as steroids and chemotherapeutic agents, sometimes with uh, uh, some procedures such as uh, even NG2 placement, we can see that. And so uh, this patient actually did okay. And uh, this result on a subsequent CT scan. And so this is a, a nice case of uh, benign uh, pneumatosis within the colon.